What was your uh, like first reaction? Well, it was anger and panic, to be honest with you. It was like anger as to why we were not consulted. The mayor says that the public was consulted. Well, that is true if you count sports teams and cadets. They consulted with uh, Barry Soccer Club. They consulted with lacrosse, uh, Barry Rugby, football last fall, September 2023. They did not consult the public at large. There was no public meetings. There was no signage posted along the waterfront. So they had meetings with sports clubs about this. If, if you call that public notification, well, they did not notify the public as a whole. And that's what's upset people. This was organized by uh, Friends of Allendale Station Park. Uh, this is our second rally that we have done here at City Hall in order to try and get City Council to reconsider their motion to put a synthetic field sports, all multi-use sports field on the very city of Waterfront in the South Shore. Roughly May the 3rd, uh, a colleague, Kathy Colbatch, was having a, a morning coffee on a Saturday morning. Just out of curiosity, was wondering what was on the agenda for City Council Wednesday evening. And she saw this motion for a waterfront sports field. And so she started emailing several of us and said, did any of you know about this? And nobody knew about it. None of us knew about it. And we follow local politics quite closely. And so that happened. So then we just sort of quickly said, well, we need to gather ourselves, gather people, get together. So we got met together, decide what can we do going forward. And so we decided to attend council meeting to see what they were doing and what they're proposing. So we attended council meeting on May the 8th. And that's when they voted to put it forward, the motion forward to May 15th. And May 15th, they voted 9 to 2 in favor of putting the sports field there on the waterfront without public consultation. After the May 15th vote, uh, I was very discouraged. I went up north uh, to a place that I've been going to since 1971. That's been in the family. I did some soul searching and um, my anger turned towards <laughs> what can we do? So I gave it six days. I realized that not much was really happening here around it. So I went on a community Facebook page and I said, I think we should do a rally, who's with me? And slowly people, one by one, sort of said, yes, I think this is wrong. I think we need to do something about this. We were not consulted. So it, word of mouth spread and spread and spread. Um, and within a week or so, uh, we had hundreds and hundreds of people uh, on our side. And like I said, the collective action has happened. And now we've gone from a handful of people to several hundred. Uh, I heard like it's, it's more than 6,000 online and 1,000 uh, physical signatures. That sounds about right as of this afternoon. So roughly 7,000 signatures, as far as I know. I mean, there are volunteers who are counting all of those signatures. Uh, you know, a stack of 233 were handed to me on Monday. Um, they're coming in all the time. We're having people even knocking on doors this evening after the rally, like we're not stopping. And we have a week to really basically try and get council to reconsider this before their summer recess. And you said, you know, you have opened a communication channel with, yes. with the mayor's office. So have, have you personally met, uh, met Mayor Alex Nuttall? I have not personally, no. So anybody from your organization, so he, has, has he reached out? Has the council reached out? Uh, I, I, I'm going to, so with respect to the process, I'm not going to comment on that right now. Um, I will just say that we have a an open line of communication with the mayor's office, and I'll leave it at that. So, you know, what are what are you hoping to happen next Wednesday? In a perfect world, four city councilors will change their mind and join councilors Harris and Corser and uh, put in a motion to reconsider the vote. And there, because basically, my understanding is they need a minor majority, so six councilors, to uh, put forth a, a recommendation to reconsider the the motion for public consultation. In a perfect world, that's what we're hoping for. So we're gonna to continue to engage uh, city council members. We are continuing our petition. We're continuing door-to-door -door canvassing. Uh, there are some other options failing that before Wednesday that we've also looked at, but uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss those at this time.